Hello everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my channel, welcome to my studio. Uh, as you can tell, I sound, uh, for those of you who know me, this is not my, my normal voice. This is my uh, congested voice, yes. I I still have that pesky cold and um, that's why I haven't been able to do uh, videos or talk for uh, the last week or so. But uh, today I, is a good day, so I'm taking advantage of that to uh, present to you my Dollarama haul. Yesterday I uh, was so fed up, I said I gotta get out of here. And yesterday was election day for us here in Ontario. So uh, my boys and I uh, did our duty, we voted. It was actually my baby's first time uh, voting, so that was that was you know, important. And so we got that done. And then uh, mom took off and went shopping. I went to Dollar Tree and Dollarama. And first, I'll show you my Dollarama haul. First, I want to show you my Dollarama haul. And yesterday, I uh, filmed the uh, non crafty, like the food household stuff first. And I couldn't talk, so but I needed to put that stuff away, so I, it's it's on film, and you'll see that a little later on. So if you're interested in seeing that, that's coming. So for right now, I'm going to show you my favorite things that I picked up at Dollarama. And by the way, I bought some of their reusable bags. So these are the the small size version ones, and my store ha was out of the larger bags. So but that's okay. These are only four for a dollar. And, um, you know, they're, they're thin, but they're perfect. I mean, I'd rather reuse these a few times, several times, actually, uh, than those flimsy plastic ones that tear even faster. So I got these. Because <clears throat> the bags I had brought in my car were already full of another store stuff. So uh, the first thing I want to show you, it's going to be a lot of pauses in this video because I, I'm coughing still. Um, is this ice cube tray that is uh, $2.50. And I thought this was really a nifty little ice cube tray. It, I'm sure it's like an ice cube, is it, what do they call it? Ice cube tray. Oh, I thought they said it was an ice cube bucket, but it's an ice cube tray. And... I'm trying to get this off here. Okay. So let's get this neat box if I can open it. It is childproof, can you tell? Okay, it comes off very easily actually. I was trying to tear the box apart. Okay, so you have this little lid here. You have the ice cube tray, so you know, put water, put it in the freezer, make ice. Ooh. 19th century okay um and so then the intention is when this is frozen pop it in there it comes with a scoop you scoop out your ice now that is a really that's neat of course but i thought hey this might be a great way to make a paint palette if you can't find another kind of palette and or you have one of these kicking around because you're not using it to make ice anymore Look at this. So you can put, you can use the top part for your paints. You can even use this as a mixing top. You can cover your paints. And then in here, you could put, well, let's pretend this is a paintbrush. And put your paintbrushes in there. And you have a little paint kit. And you could store that, you know. Okay, mind you, this is not hermetically sealed here, but, I mean, yeah, the, the idea is good, okay? It's a good idea. So I just thought, oh, yeah, there, there's a possibility with that. So that's why I bought that to show you. That if you don't use it to make ice, use it in your craft room. So my Dollarama had just restocked the shelves with their canvases of all sizes of artist canvases uh, and the really big ones, the small ones, the boards, and they had a lot more of these um, raw canvas ones. 
So I picked up a few of these because they're so well priced at $1.25 for the, oh, this is, what, 5 by 8 9 9 by 7 yeah, I think it's like 9 9 by 7 inches type of thing. So I got a few of these and to put in my, my stash of canvases because I'm always using those. And then this was new at my Dollarama. Uh, I think I've seen other people in uh, further west who've been able to find these in their Dollaramas, but it just showed up on mine. And it's the DCWV 12x12 premium stack of embossed craft papers. There are 16 sheets in here. And there's even a template at the back to show you um, or to help you make a favor box. So there's 16 sheets. Now, um, I thought this was a little high priced, but I mean, compared to what I would have to pay if I went to a craft store, no, it's not. But these, this was $4 at my Dollarama, so for 16 sheets, but they are craft paper and they all have like an embossed design. I hope you can see the embossing here. It's really hard to show. This one maybe. This, this guy, okay. That's really, 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 really hard to show that. But uh, yeah, so they all have that. And this one, like uh, a polka dot. If you see that. It's hard to do it justice here. So some are flattened, some are embossed. <clears throat> Now, I, I didn't find a lot of uh, neat, crafty stuff this week at Dollarama, um, basically, because it's a lot of stuff that they always have, a lot of their basics, and, but uh, those that was new. Uh, I got this. this. I didn't get this in the craft aisle, but I did get this where they have the gift wrapping, and uh, they had some of these gift boxes there. Usually, they keep all their gift boxes in another aisle, but... I guess they had no more room, so they had some of these. And this was the only one that was pink, and I picked it up because of that, because I thought it was such a pretty box. So I could use that here in my studio for stashing things, of course. And this box is $3, but it's, it's a lovely box to give a gift in. And it, I thought it's quite on trend with the pineapple. So in here we have some of the goodies, other goodies I found. I found this. Now, Tina, they have this. I don't know if you saw that, but they have this one with this gray kitty. And they also have one, and the cat has a lot of brown on it, but it made me think of Peppy because it's got like a, a black around one eye, <laughs> like your cat. So uh, they have they have these bowls. And this one is a gray cat, and he does have stripes on his tail. So uh, I'm going to use this here in my studio for my kitty. It's for her water in the summertime. It'll be for kitty I have see I have my 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 cup <laughs> and kitty will have her cup <laughs> so, um, I picked up this rhinestone stickers uh, butter and butterflies they had them in different colors I had some that were beautiful and all these beautiful bright different multicolors but I just got this one because I wasn't sure what I would do with this, but I just thought it was really pretty, so I just picked one up of these. And then, um, oh, I'll show you. Uh, my store is running really low on these tough and clear, so I picked up the last of the four of the small ones they had. They don't have any more of the bigger sizes, so uh, I'm hoping they bring more in because I missed out when they first brought them out. I mean, I was asleep on that one, totally. And then the other things I picked up was quite interesting to, to find these. They have these linen sheets, these little packages of linen sheets that are 18 centimeters or 18 inches. Yeah, they are 18 inch square. So 18 inch by 18 inch or 48 by 48 centimeters. And um, so you have this nice linen with these prints on them. And there I took... I think I've got one of each, or just about 
Uh, this one, they, these two are different actually. They do have a different print. I have to look at them closely. And I love this one. They only have one of these left. No wonder. That's really pretty. Very like vintagey, collagey. Uh, this one is really cute. Also very much on trend with the mason jars. And this one is pretty. And finally, this one. So this is this is all my store had. They only had like a little bit on the wall. I think they were just setting them up uh, because they were coming with more boxes. So I don't I don't know. I hope so. But uh, I got one of each because I the stuff at my store just goes so fast. Because I know um, we are Friday today, and as of last night, the store must have been picked over. That's just how it works at that store. Thursday nights. Uh, Friday. They usually sell out of stuff by Saturday. It's crazy. So um, I just had to be there at the right time. And uh, that's it for my neat stuff that wasn't um, household or food. So that will be a next, in this next clip. I hope you enjoyed uh, my Dollarama haul today. If you did, I would so appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, comment, share. And uh, stay crafty, my friends, and I'll see you after the next video. Bye.